you know, it's the gift of wisdom. If somebody in your on your team, it's like a basketball team, a football team, and when you're a team, other people might see things that you might not see, and that's when you report back to the general or the or the head coach. Then the head coach coach addresses everything. Look, we need to come together and pray for this and pray for that. So the 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 the, the we got to unite as the people of God to join our gifts and our callings to fight the wiles of the devil, to be able to, you know what? So I, I think uh, somebody might come say, Pastor Kelvin, I think you should do such and such. That may be a gift of discernment, a gift of wisdom out of that person. Another person might come and say, suggest something else or might see something something else I don't see. Somebody may be able to lay hands on someone in, the, in, in on our team, right? And, and, and say, look, I see this person is blah, blah, blah. Uh, I believe cancer is formed because I've seen people call out cancer. And that's when everybody comes together and pray on that one thing. So being a team and locked in with each other, we can destroy and beat Satan. Amen. We can destroy uh, witchcraft. Amen. Because we got Holy Ghost spies in our, in, in our camp. We got Holy Ghost... Um, snipers we got holy ghost bombers we got holy ghost we got everything we need in the body of christ if we come together and unite amen and everything and and, and, and the pastor must let people use their gifts everything can't be on the past the pastor is a team we sit around a round table and let god have his way that that's how it's supposed to be set up the body of christ we need the body of christ to form again or, or, or for real this time. I don't know about anybody else, but that's our weapon right there. Listen to the word of God. Amen. You know, so I, I, I think as we read this word, one of the things that we should do is to pray the scripture concerning the weapons that even we would have a deeper revelation and discernment about the what the weapons are and, and how to educate the body of Christ because a sister shared something with me this evening. There, there are a couple of people who said they wanted to be on this evening and for some reason they're not here, but I'm, be, I'm being very sensitive to that as well. But nevertheless, a sister shared something with me today and she said she went to, um, she visited this other church and uh, she said that there was a, a deliverance session. It was a pastor from Ghana. And I'm becoming even more wary of these African pastors, right? And I'm saying it publicly. She said it was a pastor from Ghana and the, the pastor was praying for a lady in the church. And in the service, he started praying for her. And apparently this woman was wearing a whole set of beads, beads under her clothing. And the, he prayed and did a deliverance service publicly to the point that he even told her that she had something in her private part. And he told her to put her hand in and take it out. I said, you mean in the middle of a Sunday service in a physical building in Barbados? She said, yes. She said they had her covered with sheets and stuff, but she just like had on this thing and she pushed her hand in and, thing and pulled out more beads. She said to me, there were so many beads that came off of this woman. Apparently, she was wearing, like, her whole body was wrapped with beads. She had them around. She had them saying, at one point, the minister asked for scissors to cut these beads off of her. Then she was wearing a lot of jewelry. And he was telling her that, you know, the, the <laughs> just to look on your face. <laughs> he asked her to take off all the jewelry. Oh, you have all beads already? And I don't have to take them off the top of their own. When they start to pray and everything, then pop, they disappear. I have all bees around me. And the group that I was in, and, and the, the bees pop, I said, Lord, these bees pop for a reason. These second time I get this dude back in the pot. I don't want these anymore. They gave you beads? Bees that got blessed and blessed. The bees blessed. Wait, 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 wait. You, wait, wait. Talk to me a little bit. For your race. You were in a group that gave you beads to wear? We, I make them myself. Bees, I make myself. 
Uh-huh. Jesus put around your thing and show you how your stomach will grow too. The more your stomach grow, you will know where the bees can kind of bees without whole. Your stomach keep it. Oh, the, the, I told, I know what you, the waste bees, the, the waste right. bees that you get from Africa. Yes, you're, you're, you're blessed. So I had to run my waist. But none of those here, my waist are always spot. So I said, it don't need for them. It, it's a set telling me, no, if it's supposed to run my waist, these will not pop. So I don't wear them anymore. I got rid of them. I don't wear them anymore. I made them myself. But I'm pop. So I said, oh, what then? The Lord don't want me to wear them. So I will be anointed. They don't want me to wear them. Like that. I said, a lot of ladies wear them. I showed them off. But not me. That ain't for me. Okay, I'll show I'm Pastor Kevin. Have you ever seen them? No, I've never seen bees like that. No, I don't know. I know people do crazy things with uh, candles and statues, but and I, I don't doubt with bees. You know, even in um, at, um, the Mardi Gras in New Orleans, they got bees. This, yeah, I, I don't. This yeah, is I don't what they look like. Oh wow! I think I seen that on TV before. Good. Oh, so, you, okay. so you understand what oh. I'm talking about now about knowing the weapons? Because if we don't know some of these things, we are not going to recognize them. Let me zoom. Let me zoom. Let me zoom. I got two on my ears. I all two part. What is supposed to do? Supposed to protect you or something? Or is that like some? Uh, Idolatry? What is that? It's is it the, idol God? Yeah, it's other people use them for protect them. But weight, I use them for fashion. Loss. Some people use them for weight loss. Weight loss. As I was telling you, you're still your weight loss. To see how to get to me. I don't know if people use them for other things. Oh. But it's very popular by now. Mm-hmm. Claim oh, Barbados. These are worn as a symbol of confidence and femininity, fertility, and well-being. They are worn for posture, beauty, weight tracking, protection, growth, sexual, and desire. Waste there you go right there. Race, race bees can represent royalty and social standing because of the price and quality of the bees. There you go. Thanks for things. That's, that's something else. They, now you're deal, dealing with spirits when you talk about desire and protection. Only God protects you. So, yeah. so when you start doing that, going into things like that, it's, it's, now we talk, we, we, we are in another field of, um, of, of, of spirituality. That, that's something different right there. That would be a higher being. Uh -huh. that would be a higher being. If it would be a a higher being, a higher a being, yeah, a different speciality, higher being. Well, no, I wouldn't say higher. I'm just saying it is not of the spirit of God. Um, because greater is He that's in us than He that is in the world. Um, it is just that we need to understand that there are two different types of weapons. There are weapons for the kingdom of God, and there are weapons for the kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of darkness. Darkness because it lasts up on me. It will last for me for two days and afterwards, gone. Pop. And for me. I try it by infamy. I met my own bees. It was a bee ceremony. And I went to it. A bee a ceremony? Where? It was a bee ceremony. It was a sponge stone. When the girls from the group had it on. Wait, you're and talking about the lady, Um, what's her name? Um, this I is for now. But this is with the same girl. Uh, what's her name? I feel she joined in after she wasn't in all before. Mm -hmm. She do she do V thing, DVD womb. They're all the but, same things. They're yeah. all the same things. 
because a lot of believers are turning to these things for healing and stuff like that. And, and because we in the church don't talk about it, there's a lot of ignorance in the body of Christ. Now, I want to show you, um, I want to show you this part here because this happened uh, recently. Oh, these are things that we, we don't talk about. And, and you know, we, we avoid, we stay far from it because we, we, don't, we don't touch the unclean things. But look at this, read what this says. Worrying may have a negative impact on your emotions. See that, Pastor Kevin? Yes, I see it. Oh, yeah. That's oh, what it is. So you have when, pe when people who operate in that kingdom send stuff, they stick with oil. So you will find that even in the body of Christ, when you look at certain ministers, you have to look at them very carefully. When we talk about the weapons, you have to look at the jewelry that they're wearing. You have to look at the beads that they wear. You have to look at the symbols that they have up. You, yeah. have, to, you, you, you have to be very careful the oils and stuff that they're using because we use olive oil and, and we have it within the church there's the practice of the, the, the uh, prayer of faith. But I think sometimes we take it for granted that the enemy has done a, a, a photocopy, a, a kind of mimic all of those things, all the things that we do in the kingdom of God, Satan has replicated because it's a copycat. And those things are also done in the kingdom of darkness. So when the Bible says that no weapon form against us shall prosper, are we really aware of the type of weapons? And the peace of God surpasses all understanding. I'm not... Um, Four, six, and I know about candles and certain like the Wiccan, the witches wear as a symbol of the witches. I, when I'm in the grocery stores or I see a cashier, I know the symbol of the witch. And they wear it proudly, proudly in the United States, yeah. these symbols of the witch. It's some kind of circle looking thing, like a coin. But with bees, um, I'm not surprised. Even with the Indians, the West Indies, they got the little dot on their forehead. I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it means something. I don't know. You got they, uh, they got a dot on their middle of their forehead. Um, but you know, pretty much every culture has is different, doing, yeah, different beliefs and superstitions. I you know I, I you know I come from the South, so we pretty superstitious. A black cat run across me, I you know. I don't do it now, but we used to put paper, throw paper out of one, a white piece of paper. I don't know. But um but the beads, that's that I'm glad um that's something new to me, the beads. But I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Um I know that um I met a pastor the other day and they was in a big nice high rise in New York City. I mean a big, you know, high rise, fifty stories. Somebody invited him in to for a uh, meeting. We talking about a nice place. They had a wall. You push the wall. You you don't know the wall. You you don't know there's a space behind the wall. So you press push push the wall. The wall turns around. And he said he saw people in there sitting around, chanting. I'm talking about a nice place. These these people got money, high class people in a room chanting chanting. And he said he looked to the right, he saw a donkey and a sheep. When he saw the duck in this nice place now, farm animals in this nice place, he said, Jesus, like that. And they asked him to leave. So with the beads, a knob will be watching out for beads because I see a lot of people wearing beads. And um, you might be thinking they're wearing them for... Um, for to, accessories, uh, jewelry, jewelry, yeah, you know? yeah, jewelry or something. But now I'll be looking at them a little side eye now. So <laughs> after this, so because uh, what yeah. the lady said was after the after the guy did the deliverance and told her they were demonic and they needed to, she needed to get them off her body and this and that and that. you know after he was done, she said it took like an hour of him praying for her and everything, and then she asked back for them. And she said she wants them back. She's she she wants to take them back home. She's not gonna wear them again, but she wants she's gonna hide them somewhere. And she she took them back. See, so the the uh, the other thing that um as we think about different weapons, and this is not to 
to, to bring fear in any way, but so that we are more aware, so that we are more aware, because I am, I'm watching how subtly these things are penetrating the church. And like you said, the, the, when you talk about the fivefold ministry and everybody having gifts to operate in church and everybody needing to function in church, if the, if the apostolic is not functioning in the church, we are going to be missing the mark. Yes. Missing the mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got to worry about um, people using crystals now. I was on Clubhouse. When I came on Clubhouse, that really exposed me to a lot of people. People are bringing crystals in. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know, people argue with you. They uh, they use crystals in the Bible. I've yeah. never seen it. I don't know what you use the crystals for, but crystals, now beads. But yeah. people, and people are wearing the crystals as chains, as necklaces. The people are taking the stones. You will see all these stones. And they have different colors and they have different meanings. So all of these, when, so when we talk about weapons, and even, energy though, so you want with the stones is energy. They go and clean up. You see, it's the energy from the sky. A lot of things is happening in the sky. So instead of using these stones for the energy, when you come, then that will help stop all that, all the things in the sky that affect your body and all that. That's what they say. They're energy stones. They're supposed yes. to be energy stones. But that, is it of God? Is it is it biblical? The detail, I never went into the detail. Just said so. I never went in me. But when I was standing with Boss, I used to be selling them in, uh, in Nasi. A young son had all my ass. But that they're far. I said, a lot of people know where it was. You see, I better get one because a lot of things happen in the sky and in this, in blah, 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 and all out. I said, it's my energy going to get one. I tell you, I don't want any. Let's go clean it. I see. A lot of things happen in the atmosphere now, so you see that will protect you. I don't know. I thought God's supposed to protect us. But see, a lot of scientists doing a lot of things in the sky. These, these energies that are coming around, they forces, a lot of force. You see that to protect him? Uh, this dark energy. You know what? I, 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 you know, a lot of people say we live in the last days, but I don't know if it can get any worse. It might, it can, but it, it really seems like we live in the last days. I've seen ministries being birthed also but i'm hearing about these beads and crystals now so it's like the wheat and the tears are still growing up together a lot of ministries are being birthed but also there's a lot of demonic and things of god coming up too coming in in, in the atmosphere too so i really believe the, the it's going to be coming time when god's going to come get his wheat and throw throw the tears and in in, in, in in the fire because um yeah I believe we are. I don't know how how much longer we have for before Jesus Christ come back, but I'm telling you. Yes, it's so yeah, here. A lot of maintenance going on too. Not only the crystals and the bees. I don't say costumes now, no clothes. They're using tips. I say that costumes now. The tip of the body has costume and they naked. But the Bible says, "What in the beginning shall be end." I don't know if care on this earth naked. They don't have no clothes. Well, when they came to sin, they, they realized that they was naked. And Bible said that even the lovers of yourself, all these things are still happening. It's the last days. So we got to open up our eyes as children of God for all these attacks and all these things that you are seeing. Yeah, it's getting crazy right now. Uh, we have a convention. Not we, but they have a convention in Atlanta, Georgia, in the city where everybody dressed up as uh, foxes and cats and different uh, parts. So I forgot what you call it, but they dress up with costumes with cats and they 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 dress like cats and and um and, 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 and wolves and they and they and they have a big party with that thing. They have a big party too. People come to see them and take pictures with them. Yeah, you gotta be careful with those. They worship those things. Wow. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. I forgot what you call it. 
I think it's called fur, furries or furries, the furry convention or something. I don't know, but I know it's just like, um, even a lot of people might get mad at me, but with uh, 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 Alpha, like with uh, Q Dogs and AKAs and uh, Deltas, like I told my aunt, y'all worship an elephant. Y'all making that noise to that elephant, y'all. You know, AK. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm I, I don't hope y'all. I'm, I hope not. You know. I hope I don't. You see a lot of Elias now, boy. A lot of Elias, boy. Whoa. A lot of things uh -huh. happening. But you got the cute dogs and all that, you know. Yeah, but the key so thing. So it's, it's, it's a lot of things coming up right now, but the crystals. Most definitely, that's that's a spiritual thing. Them beads, that's something that's coming up with all these ministries being birthed. But uh, the Bible says the gates of hell shall not prevail. Either way, there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser. There's going to be some winners and some losers at the end. And I want to be a winner. I'm sticking with the I'm sticking with the power of God. I, I want to be a winner too. Because yeah. God, you know, God used me one time. I. I prayed for, I touched the back of a pastor one time. Uh, probably the next day, I was just praying that Northern was high. He said his job gave him a $10,000 bonus. That was, and they forgot to give it to him. So that was something that was held up, but God got his glory out of that. Um, God used me to touch people on the, what, at wherever, and people were healed without a uh, bead. Uh, without a crystal so you don't need oils to get financial blessings you don't need uh, some beads to store up energy the energy the power is in the, the body. You power when you receive the Holy Ghost you don't receive you don't receive power with beads or, or, or candles you receive power when you get the Holy Ghost that's it but a lot of people are going away from they're getting lazy and a lot of past, there's so many ministers that's preaching false so they got part of skin, eh? and people are going towards that because there's no real preaching going on. Good evening, Minister Leslie. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, power two. We we have power two. Because uh, it's been already with Seattle powers come about. So I can't believe. So Satan's got power just like God. God got him more power, but Satan have power too. And this is the sixth. All right, just for the right. Things that for I want to. I want to understand the state. So he still got no voice of God. Minister Shet, right? I, I just wanted to welcome um Minister Leslie. Good evening. Les, we good are evening, studying. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, we were studying Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, it shall be condemned. But the the another translation says, You shall condemn. One of the translations says, you shall condemn. So we're looking at that. We were discussing just now some of the weapons um, that people use that are not of God. Because we looked at the other scripture um, that talked about the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. So we, it is important that we as children of God know the weapons of our warfare. 2 Corinthians 10 um, verse 4 talks about the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So as we talk about that this evening, we want to also pray about it and um Yeah, we want to pray about it and to really ask God for the, the wisdom and the, the discernment to be able to discern the different types of weapons and to know the weapons that we are supposed to use. 
Um, anything that you wanted to share on that, Minister Leslie? Isaiah 54, 17 or 2 Corinthians um, 10, verse 4? Give me a little time to think about it. Okay. Because as we look at, if you if you pull up Isaiah fifty four seventeen, uh, and you, if if you have your phones, you can do it in your phone, or if you have a cross reference Bible, you can cross reference the, um, if you you have the different, um, translations. So you will, if you read it in the NIV version, it says, "No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refuse." refute every tongue that accuses you. You will refute. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. The, the New Living Translation says, but in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. No all right, um, Mr. Cheryl, I'm getting some feedback from your mic. Let me just mute it. All right. So it says, you will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. So the, I, I, there's a there's a part in here. If you go to the King James, let's go to the King James Version. Which is the, the uh, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, except the Lord. So there's a there's a there's a we have a part to play as well when 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 people when tongues come, when people come up against us um in an accusatory manner, we have to be able to refute and, and to condemn um those things. And how do we refute it? How do we condemn it? And I believe that the, the best way to refute it and to condemn it is to bring the word of God. Just as um, when, you know, Jesus came out of that time of fasting and the enemy came um, to tempt him, he refuted it with the word of God. It is written. Pastor Kevin? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's written. It's written. I was just reading... Um... Um, I went to verse 13 just now. Yeah. And that God, <laughs> God is behind us when we refute something. God is, verse 13 says, all your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. Amen. In righteousness, you shall be established. Mm hmm in the righteousness of God, there's protection. In the righteous, in the righteousness of God, there's authority. He give us to refute or to go against every tongue that rises against us. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost, you know, sometimes you don't even. Have to, I've been around people and had conversations. I knew God took over. Sometimes God will give you what to, well no sometimes God will give you what to say he will he he will you can do it by the word of God but sometimes the Holy Ghost will give you what to say and some people try to do try to bring curses on you or say things against you and I and I'm like no nah, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus you're not gonna speak that over my life um no that will not happen in the name of you and you're gonna get in the car wreck no that would not happen to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, your ministry, I had one, I know one of my cousins was going to start a ministry and his pastor got mad at him 
You go walk, you go run right into a brick wall. You don't say things like that to people. You don't do that. You you refute that. Uh, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will come up. I will prevail. But there's a power and anointing behind the people of God. But I like the part in righteous in righteousness you shall be established. If you live for God and you pleasing God in your righteous righteousness, that's protection. That's power. Uh, uh, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. There's no weapons or forms against.